Hello, this is God Maths, where mathematical literacy begins. I hope you enjoyed our previous lessons. Welcome to our lesson on introduction to differentiation from first principles. In this lesson, we will look at how to find the derivative of a given function using the first principle of differentiation. Now, if you are given a function of y in terms of x, like for example, the function y is equal to x squared, then the derivative of this function is called dy dx, or the derivative of the function y with respect to x. Now, using the first principle of differentiation, the basic rule is that because this is a function of y in terms of x, when x increases by a small value, that increase will affect y, which means y will also increase by a small value. So we say that for any small change, for any small change in x, which we will call delta x, change in x, there is a corresponding small change in y. In y, which we will call delta y. So when x increases by delta x, then y will also increase by delta y. So supposing we are increasing x by delta x, that means our new x will become x plus delta x. And our new y will also become y plus delta y, or change in y. And so from this, we will have y plus the new small change in y is equal to x plus the small change in x all squared. Note that this x will now become x plus delta x because it has increased by a small amount. Then we will have y plus the change in y is equal to x plus change in x times x plus change in x. That is the expansion of this. So y plus our change in y will be equal to, when we expand this, we will have x squared plus this times that will give us x change in x plus this times this will also give us x change in x plus change in x all squared. So y plus our change in y will be equal to x squared plus this is 2x change in x x change in x plus x change in x will give us 2x change in x plus change in x all squared. Then our change in y will be equal to x squared plus 2x change in x plus change in x squared minus y. We've made change in y the subject. But also note that y is equal to x squared. And so from that, we will have change in y to be equal to x squared plus 2x change in x plus change in x squared minus x squared. y is equal to x squared. So we put that in place of y. So x squared cancels x squared, the negative. So that we will have 2x change in x plus change in x squared. So that change in y over change in x will be equal to, that means we are dividing through by change in x, will be equal to 2x change in x over change in x plus change in x squared over change in x. And this will give us change in y over change in x to be equal to, this cancels that, so we have 2x plus change in x. Then the derivative of the function y is 
equal to the limit of this function change in y over change in x as change in x approaches 0. Therefore, the derivative will be equal to 2x the limits as change in x approaches 0 of 2x plus change in x. So as change in x approaches 0, this one will become 0. Then the derivative of the function will be equal to 2x. So we will take another example on this. Let's find using first principle the derivative of the function x squared minus 2x. So we will let y equal to our function x squared minus 2x. Then with a basic principle of differentiation, when x increases by a small amount to become x plus change in x, it will lead to a corresponding increase in y, making y y plus change in y and so we will have y plus change in y to be equal to x plus change in x squared minus 2 x plus change in x so y plus change in y will be equal to when we expand this we will have x squared plus 2 x change in x plus change in x squared minus 2x minus 2 change in x. Note that these two terms are not like terms. This is x change in x and this is change in x. So change in y will be equal to x squared plus 2x change in x plus change in x squared minus 2x minus 2 change in x minus y. Moving to the other side of the equation. So change in y will give us x squared plus 2x change in x plus change in x squared minus 2x minus 2 change in x minus the function y is x squared minus 2x. So this will give us x squared 2x change in x change in x squared minus 2x minus 2 change in x minus x squared plus 2x so that x squared minus x squared will cancel out then minus 2x and 2x will also cancel out then we will be left with change in y is equal to 2x change in x plus change in x squared minus 2 change in x then dividing through by change in x we will have change in y over change in x to be equal to 2x change in x all over change in x we are dividing through change in x squared all over change in x minus 2 change in x all over change in x then this cancels, this cancels out, then this cancels the square. So we will be left with change in y over change in x is equal to 2x plus change in x minus 2. Then the derivative of the function y with respect to x is equal to the limit of change in y over change in x as change in x approaches 0. And this will give us the limit as change in x approaches 0 of 2x plus change in x minus 2. So as change in x approaches 0, this will become 0. And we will have the derivative of y with respect to x to be 2x minus 2. Now note the key steps in this solution. First, x increase by a small amount change in x. This is the first step. Then from there, we subtracted the function y. 
That is the next key step. From there, we divided through by changing x. And then after that, we took the limit of that function. And all these four steps can be put together to form one formula which can be used to find the derivative of the function as the derivative of a function with respect to s is equal to the limit as let's use h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h which means that x will increase by a small amount h which is our first key step then next we subtract the function itself which is the next step then next we divide by the small change in x and then take the limits of the function so in our next example we will use this formula to find the derivative of the given function from first principles Obtain from first principle the derivative of this function where we know that the derivative is dy dx in our previous example we learned how to put all the steps together to form a single formula as dy dx is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h so our f of x is the function which is 6x plus 4 and then our f of x plus h will be 6x plus h plus 4 which will give us 6x plus 6h plus 4 putting x plus h in place of x so the derivative of the function will be the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h is 6x plus 6h plus 4 minus f of x is 6x plus 4 all over h and this will give us 6x plus 6h plus 4 minus 6x minus 4 all over h minus 6x and plus 6x cancels out plus 4 minus 4 also cancels out and this will give us the limit as h approaches 0 of 6x over h h also cancels h so finally dy dx is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of 6 which will give us 6 because there is no h in the function we will take our last example under this let's use first principle to find the derivative of this function here we are going to use the formula method which says the derivative of the function is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h where f of x is a given function so our f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 4x plus 2 then f of x plus h will be equal to 3x plus h squared plus 4x plus h plus 2 and that will give us 3 times, when we expand this, we have x squared plus 2hx plus h squared plus 4x plus 4h plus 2. So we have 3x squared plus 6hx plus 3h squared plus 4x plus 4h plus 2. This is the function f of x plus h. Then we can find this subtraction. So f of x plus h minus f of x where we are subtracting f of x from this function. So we will have 3x squared plus 6hx plus 3h squared plus 4x plus 4h plus 2 minus the whole of this function 
3 x squared plus 4 x plus 2 and this is going to give us 3 x squared minus 3 x squared will cancel out then 4 x minus 4 x will also cancel out 2 minus 2 will also cancel out since the negative affects everything in the bracket so we will be left with 6 h x plus 3 h squared plus 4 h then the derivative is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of this function f of x plus h minus f of x which give us this all over h so we are dividing this function by h and that will give us dy dx is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 6 hx over h plus 3 h squared over h plus 4 h all over h so h cancels that here it cancels the square and it cancels that so we will find the limit as h approaches 0 of 6x plus 3h plus 4. So as h approaches 0, the term that involves h will be equal to 0. So that dy dx is equal to 6x plus 4. We will take two questions as assignments for this lesson. Solve these questions on your own and you send us your answers via WhatsApp on the numbers given in the video description. You can always contact us if you also have any extra difficulties. See you in our next lesson.